neverquitmath.com. Let's go. Today we're dealing with adding and subtracting variables, okay? So these are three little steps that I think would help you in adding and subtracting variables. Uh, first thing, I want you to think of each letter as a fruit in a basket. So a lot of times they give you like, um, say an X. I want you to think of that as an apple, all right? Let me give you my apple. Okay, that's something like an apple, okay? And if they give you a Y, just think of that as an orange. And so on and so forth. If they give you a Z, then think of that as a banana. Alright? So, why do we say this? Because when it's addition, the plus sign, you just add fruits to the basket. So, for example, if I had... 3x plus 4x, and I'm going to give you examples of these and you're going to see later. All I'm thinking of is, okay, if I have 4 apples, and then they say plus 5 apples, then I'm just adding more apples to the basket. So 4 apples plus 5 apples would equal to 9 apples, and I'm going to write these out for you to see it, and so on and so forth. When it's subtraction, you take, take fruits out of that basket. So you're going to have an apple basket, you're going to have an orange basket, and you're going to have a banana basket. And you know that everything with an X with it has to deal with whether you add apples to the apple basket or you subtract apples to the apple basket. Everything with a Y, same thing. Whether you're adding oranges to the orange basket or subtracting oranges from the orange basket. That's just how it goes. Alright? Last but not least, remember only the apples go in the apple basket. Never add apples with oranges. So if you had something that was 3X plus 2Y... The solution to that is just 3x plus 2y. If no values are given for these variables, you just leave them exactly the same. Apples and oranges, you can't add them up. They don't make more apples and more oranges, so you would just leave them exactly as that. Alright, this is the basic concept. You can write this down and hold this as your notes. And now let's just go through some problems, alright? First things first, if I did 7x plus 3x, right, what am I doing? Basically, I want to have 7 apples, let's just say x is equal to apples, plus 3 apples. So if I had 7 apples and then I added 3 apples, so then that means I just have 10 apples. So my answer is 10x. Makes sense. Same way if I had 10x minus 3x. That means I have 10 apples in a basket, and then all of a sudden I took out 3 apples. So 10 apples, and then I take away 3 apples, the answer is equal to 7x, right? Another way that you can look at this, which is simple, is that you can always say if we had 12x minus 4x, right? Always know that we're dealing with apples. So my answer is going to be really apples at the end. And then what's going to happen? I just do 12 minus 4 now. So if I'm not sure on the side, I'll do 12 minus 4, right? And 12 minus 4, I know comes out equal to 8. So then I know my answer is 8x, or 8 apples left in my box, okay? Same thing if we had a different variable, you know what I mean? If we had 7y minus um, 8y. Now, right here, you would think, wow, that's a little confusing because if we have 7 oranges in a basket and then we take eight oranges out how can that be because we only have seven oranges this is when your rules start to come in and you apply and this is when you have to make sure you have your subtraction and addition rules and so on and so forth so you know you're dealing with oranges so your answer is going to be in oranges regardless right only thing you got to remember now is how we're going to do this so you go back and you say seven minus eight now how do we do seven minus eight just like the previous video, you're doing 7 minus 8. Turn this into addition, turn this into a negative sign. And then 7 plus negative 8 is equal to what? 8 minus 7, which is equal to 1. And guess what that is? Negative 1. So guess what? I got negative 1y, which is the same thing as negative y. Got it? more comfortable you get with this, the easier that will flow. And you may have to write down less steps, but that's just the concept. Let's move on, all right? So let's try another combination. Let's just say I got um, 8z, negative 8z, plus 12z. What does this mean? That means I took eight bananas 
out of totally out of the basket and then I added 12 bananas to it you know what I mean if you think of it that way that's another way to do it another way is just do the math so you know you're dealing with bananas so your answer is gonna be in bananas so what's gonna happen you do negative 8 plus 12 how do we do this subtract smaller from bigger 12 minus 8 which is gonna give us 4 and keep the sign of the bigger number what's the sign of the bigger number it was positive and remember again when we are dealing with smaller and bigger in terms of those terms I'm just dealing with which number is farthest distance from zero or which absolute value is greater just for the purpose of being able to do addition with different signs okay so the answer would be 4z let's try a different example now let's start adding some things different so if I got 3x plus 4y plus 8z plus 7x so once again, now I'm looking at it and I got different letters here and I'm thinking, okay, what to do? This looks crazy. So what you do is you want to put all the apples together, all the oranges together, and all the bananas together, and so on and so forth. If they give you 12 letters, you still got to have 12 different groups you want to put together, right? Since this is all addition, you can move it around because addition, we know, is commutative, right? So we do 3x plus 7x. Perfect, right? plus 4y plus 8z what happened I did 3x crossed it out then I looked around for another x I saw 7x so I put 3x and 7x together so I said what's left over it was my 4y so I brought my 4y down so I crossed that out and then I said oh what's left over after that 8z bring my 8z down and I know I took everything in the problem so from here I know 3x plus 7x 3 apples plus 7 apples guess what that is 10x then, what's that? Nothing to add with these? Remains 4 oranges, 4y. Nothing to add with that? Remains 8z. And it works out just like that. Let's do some more problems so we can get even a stronger hang of it.